Welcome back. I'm sure that by now you've understood that in a right angle triangle, the trigonometric ratios depend on the acute angle. Now in this lesson, we'll see what happens to the trigonometric ratios when the acute angle is either very small, nearly zero or nearly 90 degrees. We already know that in a right angle triangle ABC, the sine, cosine and tangent of an acute angle theta are defined as shown here. Now let's change this triangle by making theta smaller and smaller. As we make theta smaller, the points B and C move very close to each other. Let's zoom in to see the acute angle and side BC more clearly. So if the acute angle theta is nearly 0 degrees, the side length BC is very small compared to the hypotenuse AB. So the sine of theta which is equal to BC upon AB is also nearly 0. Now, can we make theta exactly equal to 0? Well, if we make the acute angle 0 degrees, we do not have a triangle anymore. We just end up with a single line segment. Can we still talk about the sine of 0 degrees then? As it turns out, the sine of 0 is defined but it is not related to the size of a right angle triangle. By definition, its value is exactly 0. You will see why it makes sense to define sine 0 in later classes. But you can see why the value is 0 if we continue to think of sine theta as the ratio BC by AB even when there is no triangle. This is because the length of BC is exactly 0. We can use the same idea to define the cosine and tangent of 0 degrees. If theta is nearly 0, the cosine of theta which is AC over AB is nearly 1. That's because the lengths of AC and AB are now nearly the same. So we define cosine of 0 as 1. Can you now guess what the value of tangent of 0 should be defined as? As we've already seen, if theta is nearly 0, BC upon AC is also nearly 0. So we define the tangent of 0 as 0. We've examined what happens to the trigonometric ratios when the acute angle becomes very small. But what happens if the acute angle is nearly 90 degrees? Now, our right angle triangle looks like the one shown here. The angle C is a right angle as before, but now angle A is nearly a right angle too. The points A and C are very close to each other. So the length of AC is nearly 0 and the length of BC is nearly equal to the hypotenuse AB. Using these facts, we can determine the approximate values of sine theta and cos theta when theta is nearly 90 degrees. So we've seen how the sine and cosine behave when theta is close to 90 degrees. Now, there can never be two 90 degree angles in a triangle. But just as in the case of zero degrees, we can also define the trigonometric ratios for 90 degrees based on their behavior when theta is close to 90 degrees. What about the tangent? We know that AC is nearly 0 and much smaller than BC. So the ratio BC over AC is now a very large value. Can we define the tangent of 90 degrees? If we try to define it as BC over AC, even when there is no triangle, we run into a difficulty. Division by 0 is not defined. So tan 90 is not defined. Now, as an exercise, try to define the cosecant, secant and cotangent of 0 and 90 degrees using the ideas we've discussed. That concludes our discussion of these two special angles 0 and 90 degrees. In our previous lesson, we discussed three other special angles, 30, 45 and 60 degrees, 
which we called standard angles. So now we'll expand our list of standard angles to include 0 and 90 degrees. Now observe this table carefully. As theta changes from 0 to 90 degrees, the value of this sign increases from 0 to 1. But as we move from left to right, observe that the cosine of theta decreases from 1 to 0. Finally, the tangent of theta increases from 0 to very large values. So, now you know how the trigonometric ratios change qualitatively as the chosen acute angle in the triangle changes. Let's do a quick recap of what we've learned so far. We observed how the trigonometric ratios behave for the acute angles close to 0 and 90 degrees. Using what we observed, we defined the values of the trigonometric ratios for theta equal to 0 and 90. Finally, we noted how the values of the sine, cosine and tangent vary as theta is varied between 0 and 90 degrees. That's all for this session. I'll see you soon.